Jesus Christ. Hey guys, Team Max signing in, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video showing you some overpowered plays in the Liga BBVA. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I've actually done two previous to this one. So if you haven't seen it, go check them out. I think the first was covering the BPL and the second, the Syria. And these were just before the game came out. So I was basically going off the player stats to see if they were going to be overpowered or not. Since making them videos, the game has been out for probably about a month now. So the players I'm going to be talking about within this video, I've actually used some of them. So from first first-hand experience I know they're OP. If you do go on to enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and if you want to see more videos like this let me know down in the comment section because they do take a while to make and if you guys want to see more I'll be happy to make them. Starting us off with a goalkeeper with Bravo, Alves, Testegen, Asenjo and Casella. I viewed all of these goalkeepers and in my opinion they're really overpowered in game especially when you're building Liga BVVA squads. Bravo has 83 driving, 86 reflexes as well as 82 handling. His position Positioning isn't too bad as well, he's got 78 positioning, so overall in game he's just a beast. He's also got 58 speed, which is pretty fast for a goalkeeper, so in game he definitely won't disappoint. Alves has 88 diving, 88 reflex, he's actually had insane diving and reflex stats over previous FIFAs as well, but he tends to come out as goal a lot and sometimes this leads to him conceding. Tastegan is a beast of a goalkeeper, most of you guys know him as this cheap Naya, and he has 83 diving as well as 85 reflexes, probably one of the most OP out of this list of goalkeepers. I'm going through and yeah he's just insane to use in game. Asenjo is a beast he has all round stats as you can see there. His 59 speed and 8-1 positioning makes him a machine in net he'll save practically everything. Last goalkeeper here is Casilla you've probably seen me use him in squad builders and this guy is just a beast. <laughs> Moving on to my centre backs with Laporte, Matiu, Martinez, Vermaelen and Bernardo. Now when choosing overpowered players I try to stay within a 20k budget so the players have to be below 20k which is why I have players in this like Laporte. I think he goes for around about 10k he might have dropped at the time of you guys watching this video as you can see he's got 73 pace 86 defending and 78 physical Laporte is just a beast I've used this guy in game and he's almost impossible to get past Matthew has been a beast for the last two fevers this guy's OP it's quite cheap as well so for anyone looking to build Liga BVV squads he's definitely a center back to try Martinez is just a gem last year he was a non-red gold player I actually used to use him a lot last year so when this FIFA came out I started using him again and once again, he is a beast. Vermaelen is also another good centre-back. A lot of people might not use him mainly because of his 70 pace. It's not the highest compared to some of the centre-backs within this, but this guy is insane in-game. And last but not least, we have Bernardo. I call this guy the Colombian beast because he's almost impossible to get past. Moving on, we have the full-backs. And here we've got Alba, Cavanaugh, Tremonilus, DeMarcos and Nacho. Now, these are all fairly pacey full-backs. And obviously when you're building your squad, you need some pacey fullbacks that can get back and take the ball off the opponent's strikers. As you can see there, Alba has 92 pace, which is OP. Compared to the others in this list, he's not the cheapest, but I think you can get him for around about 10 to 15k on both consoles. So he's definitely one you can throw in your squad if you're looking to build maybe a 30 to 50k squad. Carvignol isn't the fastest with 81 pace, but he has 81 defending and 82 physical. Tremolinus is another gem. This FIFA has really come out and performed really well. Well, in game he plays well he gets back he only has 85 pace on his card but in game he seems like 90 when he's catching up to players next we have DeMarcos who's the OP right back this guy's got 80 physical and 89 pace which means if he can catch up to a player he'll most likely dispossess them of the ball and last but not least we have Nacho who's a left back this guy has 90 pace he's not the strongest of players but in game he performs well at the end of the day if you have a player that can catch up to a striker all you have to do is either slide or try to him off and you most likely usually get the ball. Now here we've got the central midfielders. And as you can see here, we have Coke, Krywoshia, Perez, and Zonze, and Mate. Starting us off with Coke, he is a beast of a player. He has 85 passing, which is the only stats you should be worried about with this guy because when you're in game, especially if you have fast strikers running through, he will set them up and actually increase your chances of scoring. Next we have Krywoshia. I'm not actually sure if I ever pronounced this guy's name right. He has 71 pace, 82 defending, and 87 physical. This guy is an overall beast and in game he plays really well. Next we have Perez. Now he's an underused league of EVVA centre midfielder. I've actually used him quite a bit on this game. He doesn't have a stat below 70. He has 82 physical and he's just an overall beast. Next and Zonzi. A lot of you guys probably don't use this guy because he has 69 pace. But apart from that the guy's got 77 defending, 83 physical and he'll dispossess the ball off anyone. Fairly tall as well so he'll win headers for you. And in game he's just a really defensive player. Our last player here is 
is Mate. He's a non-rare, so a lot of you guys will probably overlook this guy. But he's 72 pace, 79 defending, and 83 physical. I mean, for a non-rare card, that is insane. On to the wingers. We are going to play Anchor, Vela, Jesse Rodriguez, Carrasco, and Bruma. Now, I know if I didn't put Conor Anchor in this video, you guys would have gone crazy at me. So, I've put him into this video. The guy actually has some insane stats. I've used him in-game and is really good. He has 92 pace, 84 dribbling, and 77 shooting. I mean, what else do you want in your winger? He's basically the cheap Ronaldo without 5-star skills. And in-game, he does not disappoint. Vela is another beast. He only has 86 pace. So, for that, a lot of you guys might not actually try to use this guy out. I mean, he also has 84 dribbling and 79 shooting. And for an 82-rated card, that is just insane. Next, we have Jesse Rodriguez. You can easily swap this guy out with Piate because Piate is another beast. And he has 87 pace, 84 dribbling, and 74 shooting. In-game, he seems to get through, create chances, and he actually scores for me most of the time. So if you haven't used him, give him a go. And if you do try him out and he doesn't play too well, you can easily swap him out with Piate. Next, we have Carrasco, the Belgian hidden gem. People don't seem to actually use this guy a lot in their squad builders because he's a non-rare card. But in-game, this guy is amazing. Bruma is last, and I call this guy the Black Ronaldo, mainly because in-game, once he has the ball, he can just get through. He has 93 pace and 84 dribbling, which is insane. His shooting isn't the best, but if you can get him through on goal and just finesse, he'll most likely score. And to finish this off, we have the overpowered forward. Now, in-game, Rodrigo is a nuisance for your opponent. Once he has the ball on him, he can just push through players like they're not even there. He's only got 71 physical, which means he's not the strongest of players, but in-game, it doesn't seem like that. Next, we have Cecido. Most of you guys are probably thinking, who the heck is this guy? But on foothead, he has an 89 beast rating, which is insane. He's 6 foot tall with 75 pace, 84 dribbling, and 78 shooting. And you could almost call this guy the Black Ebro, but just not as tall. He's really underused, but in-game, he scores a lot of headers, and he has insane positioning, so if you can pass the ball straight to him, it's going to be really hard for the opponents to actually take it off him. Amrabat is next and we have this guy here mainly because he's one of the paciest strikers within the league of BVVA. He has 88 pace alongside 84 dribbling and 77 shooting. This guy is just insane in game and yeah, I had to put him in this video. Bifuma is next and this guy has 91 pace, 78 dribbling and 76 shooting. Now if you're using a cam like Koke, then he is the perfect striker to have because he will get on the end of those through balls and he will score. I've used him before. I actually use him a lot. He's just a beast in game. Last player we have here is Bebe. Now you guys are probably looking at me thinking Bebe, he can't be that good. He's a non-rare. But this guy is 84 pace, 75 shooting and 75 physical. Might not seem like much but he is insane in game. In fact, here's a clip of a goal I scored with him a while back just to demonstrate how good this guy is. Now, if you're in shock from the clip you just saw, let me know down in the comment section. I mean, Bebe shouldn't be scoring those kind of goals. Funny thing is, like, when I scored that goal, I was playing against a team that had plays like Robin in it, Boateng in it. And if I'm correct, I think the goalkeeper was Leno as well. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section as I'll happily make them. Thought today I would actually upload one of these for you guys since I haven't done one in a while. So I hope you did find it useful. Nevertheless, that's about it from me today. This is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Hi, if you enjoyed, just comment and subscribe. Want to see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it. <laughs> this is T-Max signing out.